Hi Aquarius, welcome to Creative Intuition Tarot, my name is MJ, I hope you are well, I hope that the first half of January was a good time for you. So Aquarius, this is your mid-January general reading, and let's get straight into it. The first card, card in the center of the spread represents you at this time. We have the four of fire and a couple of surrounding uh, cards, surrounding energies. Seven of fire, king of water, three of air, and eight of water. Okay, so five of water at the bottom of the deck. So we have water and fire primarily on the table. Uh, one card of air. Aquarius with you in the center showing up as the four of fire, four of wands. You are laying solid foundations for your long-term future um, with passion, with inspiration, like you're playing this flute, um, you know, singing along to the song of your heart and your soul, um, patiently working on laying those solid foundations, like doing this with inspiration and straight from the heart. Um, Four of Wands can represent celebration and a ceremony, and I do feel that laying those solid foundations, like the process of doing this, is a kind of ceremony for you. Like you really uh, cherish the process that you are going through. You know that it's very transformative. With those wings here, like a butterfly, you are transforming. Uh, and something that you are working on, or that is in your focus at this time, is impacting your life long term. Now with the seven of fire, I said, you are doing this with passion and with determination. So seven of wands, this is a card of being very determined and motivated to fight for something or protect something. And I feel both. Uh, you are motivated to create this, lay those solid grounds for whatever that is. Remember, can relate to any area of your life, but you are, you are also motivated and determined to protect what you've already created. Okay. Um... So I said you cherish this moment and also the results of what is being created. Now with the king of water and the eight of water here, five of, of water at the bottom of the deck, I feel that you are leaving or you have left in the recent past behind uh, some kind of lack of emotional satisfaction, uh, fulfillment, maybe some kind of a loss, something that was like an emotional worry. There was something missing in your life, missing to fulfill your life, make it truly happy and make you satisfied. And you took that journey to leave what is no longer serving you and to find, to pursue this happiness, this something that you were missing. And I really feel... This is in the past, and the king of water represents who you have become as a result of that process. There's really significant, very profound emotional maturity that you have gained through the process as you realize that everything that you desire and what you need to be emotionally fulfilled, you can create, and it's in your hands to, you know, to pursue that happiness. So you have grown and matured through that process, um, regardless of gender, um, the king is representative of the masculine energy, the energy that is active and willing to create. So you're taking things, taking leadership, taking things into your hands to create, manifest the result that you desire. That, that, that is a shift of uh, your thinking processes. That's a paradigm shift because previously I feel with the three of air being here, it's also... I sense it as the energy of the past. I think you didn't have that leadership or the realization that everything that you need, you can bring into your life. And that was bringing heartache into your life and disappointment because you thought you were dependent on some external circumstances to bring that happiness into your life. And that was causing this state of luck, right? Emotional dissatisfaction. And only then you realized 
and you don't have to wait for this to miraculously appear in your life but you need to take that journey quite challenging through your emotional realms to find your own happiness to create it so uh, I really feel that you have grown significantly especially in the last month maybe in the last year uh, but this journey was much longer than this so now in the middle of January you are in this process where there's acceptance and now you are laying those solid grounds for your future with persistence with motivation with determination but also with patience with that celebrative um, energy uh, you're enjoying the moment and you're growing with it so I really like this for you um, and remember it can relate to any area of your life right so it can be about a relationship it can be about your career aspirations and taking your career into your hands it can be very creative or spiritual for some with that um, that amount of water that we have on the table and fire they can both represent creativity but also spirituality okay so it can really relate to any area of your life but you have gone through a journey of pursuing happiness and you've come to a place where you can celebrate celebrate and still keep moving forward in that pursuit of happiness in creating those solid grounds laying those solid foundations for your future i hope aquarius that you were able to make sense out of this reading you know the language of tarot is very metaphorical but i always encourage you to use your creative intuition to make sense of the messages because you know your situation best so you can apply those messages um to them right to your situation so i hope that you enjoyed this reading and i'll leave it there aquarius have a great rest of january as always please take care of yourself and i will see you soon bye